Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. Let's talk about Wendy J. Olson. Who is Wendy J. Olson when it comes to the Brian Kohlberger case? Well, Wendy J. Olson is a attorney out of Boise, Idaho, and she is working for the media outlets to try to get the non-dissemination gag order lifted. Wendy J. Olson, this individual. Now she has quite a resume. She used to be a U U.S. attorney in the state of Idaho. So according to Wikipedia, Wendy J. Olson is an American lawyer who served as a U.S. attorney for the District of Idaho from 2010 to 2017. She was appointed in 2010 by President Barack Obama, replacing Thomas Moss as one of the 93 U.S. attorneys. She represented the government in all civil and criminal cases within her district. Early life and education. Olson was born in Pocatello, Idaho and attended Pocatello High School. Olson attended Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa, graduate, graduating with a bachelor's, Bachelor of Arts degree in journalism in 1986. Oh, she has a degree in journalism and she's helping journalists now. She served as an intern in the sports department of the LA Times before leaving to attend Stanford Law School in California. She gradu graduated from Stanford with a uh, doctor uh, doctorate in 2000, or 1990, she in, uh, interned with Wilmer Cutler, Pickering, Hale, and Door, the Student Press Law Center, and the Media Access Project. Olson served as a law clerk for Judge Barbara Jacobs Rothsteins of the United States District Court, Western District of Washington, for two years. Immediately after finishing law school, she served as a trial attorney and later deputy director of the National Church Arson Tax Force. In the University uh, in the United States Department of Civil Justice Civil Rights Division from 1992 to 1997, 94 to 97. She also worked part time um, as a professor at George Washington University of Law in 1997. She joined the United States Attorney's Office in Idaho, rising to the rank of senior litigation counsel at the time of her appointment in 2010. She resigned in 2017. She joined the Boise Office of Stoll Rides, a law firm that operated in the Pacific Northwest. So this is her. This is the attorney that is working with the media outlets to get this gag order lifted. Let me know what you think. Do you think she'll be successful or not? Now she's listed as the attorney for the numerous media outlets. And I wonder what her cost is is she could be the savior out of all this case if she gets that non-dissemination order gag order lifted a lot of people including myself want this gag order lifted so we can get information about this case clearly if you look at the motions that she's been filing to lift the gag order she's saying that the gag order is unconstitutional do you agree or do you disagree I think, you know, in a court system in America, I think all the courts should be open with transparency and we should know it's functioning and we should know what's filed and people should have the right to talk. That is a First Amendment right. I, you know, it's it's one thing about the Brian Kohlberger case that I noticed that Ann Taylor and the prosecution office actually have a plea agreement together with a stipulation order. They both agree that the gag order should be in place. Um, I don't think that's American at all. Um, they claim the, you know, the presumption of innocence in the United States Constitution, the right to a fair trial. But what about the press uh, uh, right to broadcast this case, freedom of the press? So, you know, they want freedoms their way and they don't want freedoms all across the board. I think everything should be open across the board. Will the gag order be lifted? What about Wendy J. Olson? Um, do you think she'll be successful with this non-dissemination order? I got OJ on my lap. We are following the Bosco Idaho case extensively. Subscribe to my channel. 
like, hit the notification button. We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.